And welcome. My name is Miss Corey, and I am so excited to see you today. This September, we are learning that we can always count on God. God is big and strong, and we can be brave because He is always with us. So when I say who can we, so when I say who can always count on God, I want you to say. I can always count on God as loud as you can. Are you ready? Who can always count on God? I can always count on God. That's right, friends. I'm so excited you guys are here today. I can't wait to learn all about counting on God this month. So let's get ready to sing our song and then head to the clubhouse to hear our Bible story. <laughs>
noodles everywhere. And then there are those big noodle things that wash, swash, swash, swash. And then the big blower that blows your car dry. And it kind of sounds like it'll blast you to the moon if you're not buckled. I love car washes. And so today, I was thinking that we could take some cars to the car wash together. Do you want to go to the car wash with me? Oh, yes. Okay, good. I was really hoping you would say that. All right, so I have brought my car. Check it out. Hey, it looks pretty good, right? But I have to say it is quite dirty. Uh, so I think we're going to need to take this one to the car wash. Yeah, okay, I'll bring this one. Do you have your pretend car? Yeah, it looks perfect. Okay, these definitely need some soap and some water. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into our car and uh, we can buckle our seat belts, hold on to that steering wheel, and uh, let's, let's turn on the radio a little bit. We need some good car washing music. Hey, I love this song. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, let's make our way to the car wash, car wash, car wash. Oh, we're here! Well, that was quick! Okay, here we go. Let's get ready to go! I can't wait! All right, we're going in the car wash! Oh, here comes the water! Splash! 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 Oh, this is amazing! Okay, our car is super wet right now, but I think we're gonna need some soap. And here it comes! Oh, it's bubbling up! <laughs> Look at all these bubbles. I just wish we could get out and pop them. <laughs> oh no, it's my favorite part, the noodles. <laughs> can you put your arms like this and can, can you kind of be the noodles? Yeah, they're just like that. <laughs> noodles, noodles, noodles. And they're squashing our car and they're squashing our car. <gasps> this is so great. Noodles, 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 noodles. <laughs> I think we made it through the noodles. And now, do you hear that? It sounds like the blowing machine. Oh, it's gonna blow our car dry. Oh, get ready, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> Can you spin around with me like we're blowing our car dry? <gasps> oh, we're drying, we're drying. <laughs> and I think we're almost dry. Oh. I think our car is super clean. That was amazing. We made it through the car wash. All right, it's time to say goodbye to our cars. See you later. <laughs> I have had like the best time hanging out with you all today. Oh, but don't worry because the fun is not over yet. It is time to listen to an amazing Bible story just for you. So, take a seat and get all comfy. Are you comfy? Okay, good, me too. Now let me see your hands. And open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. <laughs> open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey, boys and girls. My name is Sabrina, and I'm so excited to tell you something amazing I read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? It's the Bible. <laughs> That's right. And the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. That's right. God loves us so, so much and we can always count on him to be with us and to always help us. I read all about a woman who knew that she could count on God. Her name was Esther. <whistles> Esther had to be courageous and do something big to help lots and lots of people. And remember, courageous means to be brave. Esther didn't have to be scared or afraid, she knew that she could count on God to make her brave and courageous. Well, when I first started reading about Esther, she was just a girl living with her uncle and helping her family. 
Esther probably wore really simple clothes. She probably helped around the house. Like maybe, oh, maybe she washed dishes. Or maybe she cleaned up. Yeah, well, one day, Esther's life completely changed. The king, where Esther lived, was looking for a new wife. And when the king met Esther, he saw that she was very kind and very beautiful. The king knew that he wanted to marry her, and she became the new queen. She went from wearing plain clothes to wearing fancy queenie clothes. She probably had a beautiful robe. I bet she had a beautiful crown too. <sighs> Ooh, let's pretend to put on a crown just like Esther. Let's pick it up and put it on your head. Wow, that looks so cool. Well, not only did Esther get fancy new clothes, but she got a new home too. Esther moved out of her family home and into the king's castle. Everything was going really well until Esther found out something bad was going to happen to her family. See, there was this mean man named Haman and Haman worked for the king and he didn't like Esther's family. Haman wanted to hurt them. Oh man, well Haman tricked the king into making a rule that would hurt all of Esther's family and friends. And the king had no idea that he was gonna do this because Haman tricked him. Oh no, what's Esther gonna do? She was now the queen. She lived in the castle with the king and his people, but Esther loved her family and friends too. She didn't want anything bad to happen to them. Well, Esther had to do something to help. She knew that she needed to talk to the king about that bad rule that would hurt her family. But the king was working and only very, very, very important people were allowed to talk to him when he was working. Even the queen couldn't see the king while he was working. But Esther knew she had to try. <sighs> I bet she was really, really afraid to go see the king. But she knew that she could count on God to make her courageous, yeah. So Esther put on her royal robe and went to see the king. And she told the king everything that mean Haman had done and how he tricked the king. Well, guess what? The king stopped Haman's bad plan and Haman never came to that castle again. Esther saved her people. She saved her family and she saved her friends. Hooray, Esther! Esther was able to help everyone because when she was afraid, she counted on God to make her courageous. Yeah, Esther helped the people that she loved. And do you know what? When you're afraid, you can count on God to make you courageous too. If you have to go someplace new and you might not know anybody, you can count on God. God is always, always with you. And God will help you when you're afraid, just like he helped Esther. You can always count on God and I can always count on God. Let's pray and thank God that we can always, always count on him, okay? If you're ready to pray, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you so much that we can always count on you to help us be strong and courageous. We love you so much, God, amen. Wow, that was so, so amazing. I'm gonna remember all week that I can always count on God. And you can remember that you can always count on God. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye. Wow, that was an amazing Bible story. You know, I loved listening to it with you. And now it is time to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. And I can't wait to see your dance moves. So get up on your feet and it's time to dance. <laughs>
I'm so glad we got to hear that we can always count on God. Before we go, let's say our memory verse together. It goes like this. Are you ready? Be strong. Let's see those muscles. Be strong and courageous. Put your hands on your hips and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid for God is with you. And we're going to march in place for God is with you. And that comes from Deuteronomy 31 6. Let's see those Bibles. Let's do it one more time together. Are you guys ready? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for God is with you. Deuteronomy 31 6. Great job, friends. It was so fun learning that we can always count on God. I'm so glad you guys were here today. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!